think. What I'd say to the new generation, don't forget the older generation, what they've achieved, what they tried. How difficult it was for them to settle. New generations that we have in this country who are brought, in, brought up here or born here and brought up here, they don't know much about Bangladeshi history, Bangladeshi literature, culture. Some of the people I always feel that they're losing their identity, their culture. They are becoming British. You hardly hear any old people's home before for Bengalis. Now you see so many opening and you hear so many people crying, oh my son has chucked me out of the house. That hurts. And and I mean it hurts when I hear things like that. I can understand the young people nowadays who are having identity crisis because I've been through that. I've learned the hard way. It wasn't easy. I can tell you that much. It was not easy to carry on because the expectation from your parents, expectation from your own people, uh, and you had to be Mr. 100%. I always thought that they had an identity crisis in this country. But many of them said, no, we don't have any identity crisis because people call us Asian, people call us Bangladeshis, people call us Muslim, and we switch on and switch off our identities as the circumstances demand. So statistically, Bangladeshi girls are making good results in GCSE. There are Bangladeshi barristers, police officers, solicitors, social workers. You would find a lot of Bangladeshi girls coming compared to the Bangladeshi young boys. When I see um, at various award evenings that one after another Bangladeshi children are taking awards, it absolutely fills my heart that they are going to be something, somebody to reckon with in this country. These are stories of relentless struggle which date back more than 200 years ago. There are many stories, millions of them, like these, which describe the lives of our ancestors, connect us to them and explain our existence and establishment in this country. With a hope to change fate in this dream country, with a desire to ensure a better life for all of us, they sacrificed their personal, social and cultural attachments. On this way, they encountered many differences and difficulties which they were not prepared for. They were beyond the imagination, beyond dreams. Today, we recognise and appreciate all the experiences, struggles and contributions to our lives. So, hats, hats off, off to, to all, all of them. them.